On a crisp morning in mid-October, the normally sleepy Cecil County countryside is buzzing with tension. Equestrians from around the globe are preparing for a three-day eventing competition at the highest level. Maryland's five-star at Fairhill is the definitive test of horse and rider. We didn't really know what it was going to be like here. We didn't anticipate it being this tough. For the uninitiated, three-day eventing is the equestrian version of a triathlon. On day one, the dressage portion of the competition, horse and rider must move in graceful tandem. On day two, the cross-country course is a test of speed and stamina. Finally, day three brings a return to the ring for show jumping. And a five-star is the highest level of competition. Only a set amount of riders and horses in the world can compete at this difficult level. Jeff Newman, president of the Fair Hill Organizing Committee, spearheaded the operation to bring the event to Maryland. It's higher than the Olympic level. The Olympic level is four-star. There are only seven five-star venues in the world. And this inaugural competition in Fair Hill has attracted some of the sport's biggest stars, like Zara Tyndall, granddaughter of Queen Elizabeth II. We are so thrilled that all the international riders have come across the seas to come to this brand new event this year. Kentucky can say they have the Derby in a five star, and now Maryland can say we have the Preakness in a five star, so touche. This section of countryside, once owned by the illustrious DuPont family, has a long and storied history as an eventing venue. The sport itself originated as a cavalry test with a cross-country course designed to be the most challenging leg. And Maryland's five-star course at the Fair Hill Special Event Zone is no exception. This is an 11-minute roller coaster. Colleen Rutledge is an elite competitor from Mount Airy. Like all riders, she's walking the cross-country course to prepare. Up and down these hills, every roller coaster, every jump, that's a hill and a go and a here and a there. And it just, I mean, it gives me goosebumps being able to talk about it because it's just, this is the reason we do it. Walking the course prior to the competition is the only chance riders get to size up the jumps or so-called questions. Lauren Nicholson from the Plains, Virginia is one of the top riders on the circuit. This weekend, she's riding two horses in competition and prepares by strategizing each turn and knowing each horse's mindset. You've been climbing uphill quite a bit, and you also, we have to think about, we're coming up to a pretty difficult question, so the horses can really feel a bit weary. So you definitely want to get to the top, be like, we got something big coming up, we're not home yet, and keep them thinking and on their feet. Challenging the riders and horses is exactly what course designer Ian Stark had in mind. And at the end of the day, it's got to be very challenging. It's got to be up to standard. But the one thing that I always fear and dread is tricking the horses. I don't really care if the riders have a sleepless night or two. And, and if they're sitting on the loo for a few hours, that's OK. You know, no problem. Um, I like to kind of intimidate and frighten them, but, but the horses are the ones that I want to look after. So they're good footing, the good ground for them. and understandable questions that they can kind of assess in spite of the rider sometimes. Ian's four-mile course meanders over hill and dale. It has about 45 questions, with many incorporating a local flavor. So I do try and involve local industry, local uh, history, whatever, um, whenever I can. Um, and yeah, you know, the, the crab's sort of bright and cheerful. and, it, and But I, at this stage, we're halfway around the course. I don't expect the horses to spook at it. But they might jump a bit higher than normal. So you, know, you might see a few riders right at the buckle end of the reins with their mouths and their eyes that look as though there'd been a deer in headlights. Every time we leave the ground on our horse, it's got to be a, a question of trust. And this is an ultimate question of trust because we are asking them to leave the ground and jump into, they don't actually know how deep this water is. It could be 12 feet deep as far as they know. But then Ian's done this magnificent thing of having a ditch and bank, it's an Irish bank, in the water. Like, we haven't seen this. Every question in here is, trust. Every question in here is accuracy. 
Eventing is scored through a penalty system. Points are given for each mistake. The horse and rider with the lowest score wins. Colleen Rutledge is our next to go. Colleen from right here in Maryland. Finally, it's time to compete. It begins with the dressage portion of the competition. She's a real dancer, this mare. Where horse and rider demonstrate their graceful partnership through precise movement. It goes well for both Colleen and Lauren, who finish out the day in the top 15 out of a field of 46. But as each rider knows, the cross-country phase can be the great equalizer. It's you and your horse, two, two minds, synchronizing and galloping and challenging and attacking the course, and you can't get any better. I mean, it's just brilliant. You know, with this equestrian sport, it, it really comes down the horse and rider having a really good relationship. And by the time you have them this level, you've usually ridden them, you know, nearly a decade at this point and trust you to guide them through it correctly. On Lauren Nicholson's first run, she led her horse to a top five finish. But with many riders to go, including Colleen Rutledge, anything can happen. You always have plan A. You have planned plan B, plan C, sometimes E and F. Sometimes plans go absolutely according. Sometimes they don't go so, and you've got to think fast on your feet and make a split second decision. But that's why we train for this. On this day, things didn't go as planned for Colleen. A fall early into the course knocks her out of contention. And she isn't the only one. Ian Stark's Just course would outdo seven other riders. Oh, the looming clouds. But as the weather begins to deteriorate, there's still a dozen riders to go, including Lauren's second run. Undaunted, she turns in one of the best runs of her career, finishing sixth overall, going into the third and final round of competition. Show jumping. Show jumping has the horse and rider jumping fences and rails and test the stamina and recovery of the horse after a grueling pace on the cross-country course. The top 10 riders are within single-digit points from one another. Four to add for Landmarks Monte Carlo and Lauren Nicholson. But at the end of the day, another American rider, Boyd Martin, takes first place. And Lauren will finish sixth and 12th with her two horses. These horses, they're 14, 15, and they're still healthy, sound athletes. You know, that, that speaks volumes to our team. It may be the end of this year's event, but the Maryland Five Star marks a new era in Fair Hill and a continuation of a long-standing tradition. Mm -hmm.